Kids Story Corner, learning and fun for little ones. The Marvelous Monster Party Once upon a time, in a land far away, lived Marvelous Mona Monster, who threw parties night and day. Her favorite thing to do, above anything at all, was inviting all her friends to a dinner, dance or ball. There were fantastic costume parties and feasts with 50 dishes, bouncy castle birthdays and pool parties with fishes. Every monster in the land would trade their fur, scales or feathers to be able to attend Mona's marvellous get-togethers. If a monster was ever sad, lonely or stressed, Mona would throw a party with all the things that they loved best. Though her heart and smile were big, Mona's wood cabin was small. It creaked and shook and strained with every jump and twirl and fall. Until finally one night, during a really big bonanza, the cabin split in two. It was a mess extravaganza. The bedroom fell downstairs onto the living room floor. The bath was in the garden and the table was in the door. Oh dear, cried Mona Monster. What a terrible dilemma. I'm afraid I have no choice but to move out altogether. <sighs> At that very moment, Bertie Bowler passed by. He'd been to lots of Mona's parties and he heard her mournful sigh. Bertie scratched his head and said, This just will not do. Mona is always helping others. Now we must help her too. Mona called a taxi and crumpled into the car. It took her to her sister's, which wasn't very far. Bertie called his friends and they called their friends too. Every monster who'd ever been to a Mona monster do. Before much time had passed, the forest started to fill with hundreds of helpful monsters holding a hammer, saw or drill. They worked throughout the day to fix every window pane, all the tables, floors and doors until the cabin looked new again. Then they worked throughout the night to add lots of special things that would give Mona's parties some extra added zing. The next day, Mona Monster got a shiny golden letter in an envelope that said Open me and you'll feel better. Eh? The golden letter read to Mona, our monstrous VIP. You're invited to attend a most marvellous party. Mona was so excited that she ran all the way back to her cabin in the woods. The party was today. When she finally reached her cabin, Mona couldn't believe her eyes. It had been completely fixed. What a wonderful surprise! The monsters showered Mona with gifts and spoiled her with treats. They danced to funky music you could hear from distant streets. Of all Mona's parties, this was the most marvellous by far. Monsters would talk for decades about the generous open bar. When the final dance was over, there were fireworks in the sky. A thousand sparkling lights shimmered way up high. Mona turned to Bertie, smiling from ear to ear, and said, Thank you all so much for throwing me the party of the year. Bertie smiled and said, Actually, it's us who should thank you for always thinking of others and all the kind things that you do. From that day on, Mona put her whole heart into every party she planned, opening her home to monsters from all across the land. Wow. Whenever a monster was lonely, or frightened, or sad, they could go to a Mona party and leave feeling really glad. For more stories and learning materials, subscribe to Kids Story Corner.